Welcome back, guys. It's the new year, 2020. We're officially back. Invest in your future. With all new episodes, new content, new things to to improve ourselves and also to um, improve yourself, improve your business, improve your money situation. It's uh, I took a couple couple weeks off. Like you know, that last episode we were um, we went and talked about 2020 goals, 2020 goal list. I hope you guys got a chance to listen to that episode. It's a great episode. It talked about talked about how people can improve. So welcome back, guys, to another episode of Invest in Your Future. We're here to help you guys obviously improve, and I hope you guys had a great New Year's, a great, a great uh, Christmas. Let me get the podcast started here. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Invest in Your Future. I'm your host, Kenny, CEO of Corinda Group Corporation. I want to thank you guys for joining me for another episode. We're here in officially 2020, new year, new goals. Hopefully, you guys got a chance to listen to that previous podcast that we did before the new year called 2020 Goal List. Hope you guys have some stuff lined up for yourselves to improve yourselves and also to uh, improve your situations. And I hope that you guys take them take them serious because um, that's the only way you achieve things if you take them real serious. So we're back here. First official episode of 2020 for Invest in Your Future. We're going to keep going strong. We're here every Thursday. Um, every Thursday around noontime, evening, um, at evening on in me, 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 Eastern Standard Time would be noontime. And then Western, if you're going West, it'd be a little bit more. Um, on the morning, but Eastern Standard Time is around 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the afternoon. We try to bring knowledge. We try to bring uh, information for people to improve their money situation, to help people improve their business, help people improve their their organizations or what they're trying to do in terms of personal development. If they're trying to improve. Um, I'm always interested in bringing guests on. I'm always interested in bringing um, mentors or people that you know that you might be aware of that you might need that that could help the show and help bring more knowledge to people. If you have a business yourself, if you want to come on the show, um, it will be great because we always want to learn from each other. I'm not a genius. I don't say I am. I don't plan on being one, like I say. But what I do is I like to learn from other people. So whatever business you have, it does not have to be real estate. My business is strictly real estate, but I also have some other small businesses because I'm a full full blown entrepreneur. Um, but I always want to learn from other people and other businesses. You can always learn from somebody else. That's why I always take the time to give the show out because I expect I expect my knowledge to hopefully touch somebody. Even if it touches one person, it's going to help that person improve. Hopefully their situation, hopefully their business, hopefully their their money, hopefully their credit. Hopefully they're something that uh, they take from the episode and they can take it on and maybe teach somebody else and the train keeps going. So that's the whole point of the show. We're here every Thursday officially now. We missed the past couple weeks because we want to give the time for people to get, you know, celebrate their holidays, celebrate time with their families, help them um, give them a break a little bit. But now we're back to every Thursday we're here. If you have guys have questions, if you have comments, if you have um uh, people that might be interested in the show, please send them a like, send them a comment, or like, subscribe, so that way they can see what you like and what you subscribe to, and hopefully they can follow along. Um, if you do have any um, ideas also for future shows, please leave them in the comments, wherever you see this, either it's YouTube or it's on Facebook or Instagram. <clears throat> Let us know what you um what you want to say if you have a question if you have comments if you like if you don't like please just leave a comment subscribe 
We're always appreciative of the thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle, whatever you like. Just just leave a comment. Don't be a ghost. Leave something in the in in, in the, um on, on the algorithm so we can get some kind of um continuous growth on our business side and also for the podcast side and also for just for future generations because if you have the knowledge and you don't give it to somebody else that means you're just being greedy that's as simple as that i think anybody and everyone has something they can give back so i try to give back as much as i can and if you have something you want to share also just leave a comment leave a like uh thumbs up always great always appreciate it i want to say thank you guys who've been following me for the past year and a half or so where the show's been going on we appreciate all the support everyone who has supported we always um, love to follow back and also like to listen to what you're doing. If you have a podcast, if you have a show also, let us know so we can let our audience know what you're up to and hopefully we can learn from you and same way you can learn from me. Now, this year we're having a real estate seminar. I'm going to have a, a strictly real estate seminar. Last year we had the Invest in Your Future seminar. It was a great turnout. It was really to help people improve their credit, improve their business, start a business, also help them improve their personal development. But it was a great seminar. It was a two and a half hour program that went on over at the Hilton in Burlington. And a lot of people showed up. It was supposed to be, I think, 50 people. We ended up like having like 70, 70 something people. And it was sold out, strictly sold out. So just know this year we're going to have a special strictly real estate seminar. I'll let you guys know when it's coming up. We're trying to organize it and trying to get all the logistics set up. But otherwise, I'll let you guys know as soon as it comes out. Tickets will probably be around the same price like the last year's seminar. They'll be strictly for, for real estate. And I want people to understand that that's the way they should be focused on is how to make real substantial wealth for themselves and their family. It should be real estate. Um, you, if you look at the stats, almost all, not almost, all multi-millionaires, multi-billionaires own major real estate or major some kind of commercial real estate or some kind of uh, residential real estate. So I, I want and I and I preach to my audience, get in real estate as fast as you can. Um, so this seminar will help people improve not only how to get into real estate, but what kind of situation they need to be in to be able to qualify to get a loan to get real estate, what kind of credit they need to have to get real estate, what kind of location they should be looking for in real estate, what kind of maybe books they should be reading for real estate, what kind of um, um, path they should follow because like I said I've made mistakes myself and so the reason I'm putting the seminar on is because I've made those mistakes and now I want you guys to learn from those and hopefully I can help you get into your first property or your second or your third or your fifth or your hundredth whatever it is I'm hoping to improve everybody's situations that way you can have your own little piece of um, real estate um, for yourself and for your family hopefully for future generations um, that's why we call this show Invest in Your Future because you have to do certain things to invest in your future to improve. If you don't do those things, you're not going to have a future. That's what I believe. I was in the same situation um, years ago where I didn't have anything. Now I have properties all over. I have um, real estate. I have businesses. I have things that help me improve. But the only way I could do that was by investing in my future. Hence the show called Invest in Your Future came out. So please, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and we always appreciate that. Um, so today we're going to be discussing a topic that's a real, a real, a real kind of awakening for people. Maybe they're not aware of. I was not aware of it, also. But I always want to. Once I learn something, I always want to share it, and I always want to pass it on to people. So hopefully they can become aware also for themselves. Today this episode is called "Invest versus Spend." So invest versus spend. Now. What does this entail? Invest versus spend. When when you're when you're trying to grow anything, when you're trying to when you're trying to grow, whether it's yourself, whether it's a, a business, whether it's um, you know work, whether it's whatever you're trying to grow, there's only two things you can do. You can either invest or you're spending. So let's take a topic of, let's say, money. Money is one of my favorite topics. That's why I talk about it all the time. When, you're, when you want to do something, let's say you want to make a million dollars or five million dollars, you have to understand that your money, which is the equivalent of making that money, you have to think 
every dollar I receive from wherever you get the dollar from, whether it's you selling a product, whether you're selling a service, cleaning the floors, whatever, whether you're consulting, whether you're whatever, every dollar, you have to only do two things with it. You're either investing it or you're spending it. You're either investing it or spending it. So when I was younger, what I did was I spent a lot of money. I used to make a lot of money also. I used to make a lot of good money because I had four jobs at one time. But I never had money. I never. I realized that money was always out of my, it was, I never had money in my account. It was always in the negative or I had um, overdraft. Um, I never had money on me. I never had money in my car. I never had money in my house. I just always looked like I was looking for money. And I had four jobs. I was making good money. So I was wondering, why, where's my money going? And there's only, two, there's only one thing I was doing. But that's how I was spending my money. Now, a lot of people are doing the same exact thing because they don't have the financial literacy or the financial education to know what they're doing. They're just living in a fog. And I was in the same situation. So with money, you're either investing it or you're spending it. It's that simple. It's, there's, no, there's no in between. So if I want to make $5 million, for every dollar I receive, I need to make sure that I'm investing it. I, I, besides maybe your, your living expenses, because you have no choice, you have to spend the money on heat. You have to spend the money on your rent. You have to spend the money on, on um, food. You have to spend money on your kids. You have to spend money on, on you know, maybe a, a new suit, whatever. But you, you, when you when that money's gone, it's gone. It's never coming back. It's not any kind of give, not giving you any kind of ROI, which is return on investment. It's not doing anything for you. So when it comes to money, you either investing it or you're spending it. It's that simple. Those two things. Now, same with yourself, with your money. Whenever you get a dollar, a dollar, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever the check is, every Friday, every two weeks, your money. Well, as soon as you get that money, you're either going to do things with it. You're going to invest it, or you're going to spend it, or you're going to lose it. That's that's one thing that another thing also you could do is just lose it. But I'm not going to even touch that. So when you're when you're when you're when you think about spending money, remember that money is not going to come back to you. It's not coming back to you at all. So you need to understand how to invest, how to invest correctly, how to make sure that money's coming back to you in some way or some form. So it, this works with everything too. Everything is either, you're doing two things, either investing or spending it. With your time, let's talk about time for a second. Your time, you're either investing time or you're spending time. If you think about it, just a quick, quick math. We have 12 months in the year, we're in January right now. We have 12 months in the year. If you sleep a normal eight hours a day, that's about three months gone out of your whole year. Three months gone. So automatically, you've lost three months out of that year just from sleeping. Just from sleeping eight hours a day, you've lost three months. Now, let's take away food, showering, eat, um, you know, just play time. From then on, you lost about four months. Think about that. All the time you spend, all the time you spend is pretty much gone on sleeping, food, and just basic necessities. The seven months gone right there. Seven months. Think about it. All that time. So just do the math. If you do eight hours a day, you know, it's those hours are gone. You can't, you're not investing anything in those hours because like I said, same thing with money. Those hours are gone. Those months and days are gone. So seven months. So now you have about five months left over. Five months. Now let's say you have, um, you know, you know, you play video games or you do something that is very, you know, not, doesn't help you, like a hobby that does not help you. Let's say you spend about f five hours a day doing that hobby or watching TV, Netflix, whatever it is. Five hours a day, those are two months gone right there. Two months gone right there on that time. So you didn't invest that time either. You just spent that time. So if you think about it, you only have three months in the year in terms of time that you can invest. If you really take about take away sleep, food, chilling, Netflix, whatever, playing around, messing around, video games, all that stuff, you after you spent all those time spent, meaning there's no return on your no return on your time, those three months of the only time you have to progress to improve. Three months is not a long time, and you're not gonna make a lot of progress. It's that simple. So what can you do? You have to figure out how can I invest more time daily, daily. To make sure it compounds. So if you are, like I said, 
either investing time or you're spending time. Same thing with money, either investing money or spending money. So if you want to invest more time, what you want to do is you want to sacrifice a little more, little less sleep or figure out a way to listen to a podcast while you eat or figure out a way to listen to an audio book while you drive. That's how you can start leveraging and start learning that, listen, every time I'm in my car, I'm learning something new. Every time I wake up in the morning, I'm doing a workout first thing in the morning because your time is going to be gone. It's going to be spent without you knowing, without you even realizing that the whole year is gone. So if you don't understand that I need to figure out a way to, to combine certain things to invest my time wisely. So regardless, if you're driving to work every single day, back and forth, you, sh you should be able to listen to a podcast or an audio book every single way. Don't listen to Jamming on 94.5. Don't listen to Sports Center. Don't listen to anything else. Listen to something that's going to improve your business or improve your health or improve your credit or improve your business acumen or improve your financial literacy. Find a way to do something that correlates your time. So let's say, let's say you 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 know you're um you have kids or you 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 um you have something some kind of obligation. Find a way to add something on top of that so your time's not fully wasted. It's that simple. So you're not spending just that time. You're also investing that time. Let's say you are playing with your kids. Let's say in the background, why don't you put an audio book on? Or how about in, while you sleep? Before you sleep, right before you go to sleep, you know you have maybe 15, 20 minutes. Maybe you can grab a book and read a chapter or two. Next, you know, by the end of the year, you've read 50 books like a CEO, like a typical Forbes 500 CEO. So that's the thing you need to figure out a way is to invest certain time while you have your typical typical duties of the day or typical life that you're living. But just figure out a way to, to correlate things together so that way your time is not just spent, but also it's still invested. It's the same thing. Let's say resources. Same thing with resources. You're either spending your resources or you're investing your resources. Now, resources can come from anything. Like I said, it could be money, could be your credit, could be whatever. You have to figure out a way to make sure all your resources are invested correctly, not just spent. It's that simple. Your brain is a resource. Are you, are you investing in your brain? Are you eating the foods that can help your brain think better, work better, be more productive? Or are you just spending time eating junk food and putting in garbage, which is the Netflix and the you know Housewives of L.A., whatever, it's that simple. You're either spending that time not improving your brain or you're investing time by putting in, you know, eating blueberries and eating oatmeal and eating stuff that's going to actually improve your brain connections, improve your memory, improve those things. That's a resource. That resource you have, everyone has a brain. Everyone has a healthy body. But are you spending time sitting on the couch and letting that body decay or are you spending at least an hour in the gym or an hour walking outside or an hour jogging or an hour doing something productive for your body so that way you have a longevity and you have the energy to do whatever you want in terms of business or in terms of trying to be successful it's that simple that's a resource those are resources also you either invest in your resources or you're spending the resources it's the same thing now let's talk about business or work when it comes to work there's there's only two things also it's either invest or you're spending. It's the same thing. This is the episode is called invest or spending. You have to understand this. So if you go to work and you work whatever you, wherever you work, let's say you're pumping gas or you're working at a gas station. It doesn't matter where you work or you work for yourself or you work in, in a store or you work at a grocery, whatever you're working. Yes, you, you, you have to work. You have to somehow support yourself or support your family. But now when you go to work, are you just spending time there just so you can get a check? Or are you, are you actually investing in there and saying, listen, every week I'm going to meet with my boss or I'm going to have lunch with the, the CEO <clears throat> or, excuse me, or I'm having, or I'm having um, a second to, to speak to my supervisor just to figure out how can I improve myself, how can I get more pay <clears throat> or, excuse me, or how can I invest a little more time to know everyone around me to figure out what, what their duties are so maybe I can improve my skill level and get more money. It's that simple. If every day you go to work and you just do your nine to five and go home, there's no way you can improve. But let's say I, instead of going to nine to five, I come in at 850 every morning and I work with my boss a little earlier and I just show that in initiative and I say, listen, I'm investing in this company. I'm working before even my shift starts. I'm putting in a little bit more time than anybody else, than the average Joe who comes in maybe five minutes later, or just comes right on time and leaves at five. Let's say I put in just 10 minutes before. So I come in at 850. 
and I leave at 5, 10 every day, just showing a little more effort, showing a little more investment in the company, showing a little more effort in terms of showing up. It's that those little efforts, those little efforts, those little investments actually add up. Because now, let's say the promotion comes up, a promotion comes up for, for a position in your company or your business or wherever, who are they going to look to? Are they going to look to the average Joe who's leaving early, comes in late, doesn't want to do a little overtime, doesn't want to pick up the piece of paper on the floor, doesn't want to interact with the bosses, doesn't want to interact with the supervisor, doesn't want to um, do that little extra mile? Or is it going to go to the person who shows up a little bit earlier every day, stays a little bit later than everyone every day, does the extra work that the boss asks him? Anytime overtime, he's the first to volunteer and stay a little bit longer. Is That's the person who's actually investing in their business or their work. It's that simple. If you want improvement in your life, it's this simple. You are going to have to put in a little more extra time. It's that simple. Brian Tracy, actually, a great book, he said, there's no traffic on the extra mile. Great quote. Great quote. I live by the same thing. There's no, nobody's going to fight you for the extra time, for the extra extra leverage you want to put in. So if you want that little extra, extra success, whether it's, 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 business whether it's on the basketball court whether it's it's you know um like i said pumping gas just show a little bit more effort put a little more investment put a little more time into instead of just spending time at work invest your time in there learn how the business works learn what other people are doing so you can learn their jobs just in case they're sick you can do their job also maybe get a little raise learn the little things that could help your business grow learn a little bit more about marketing learn a little bit more about accounting learn a little bit more about your attorney how they sign up the paperwork and get your contracts it's that simple you put in a little more effort you invest a little bit more time instead of just spending time you'll see growth you'll see growth it's that simple so like i said today's episode was invest versus spend so understand your money either investing it or you're spending it find a way to invest it Either your time, your, your, your time is limited, 24 hours a day, you know, seven days a week, 30 days a month, 12 months a year. You have time, either investing it or you're spending it. Find a way to spend a little more time. I'm sorry, invest a little bit more time. Let's say you're driving and you listen to that podcast. That's the way you can invest a little bit more time to your time. Now, your resources, like your brain, your, 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 your money, your, your body, your tools that you have around you. Find a way to invest more into those resources to improve them a little bit more. And then also, just your business or your work. Find a way to invest a little bit more, just a little bit more, a little bit more. Wake up a little bit earlier. Do a little bit more you know, exercise. Do a little bit more in terms of um, that client. Imp improve, impress that client a little bit more. You know, Show up a little bit earlier. Stay a little bit, stay a little bit later. And trust me, that's when you start seeing a difference in your life. It's that simple. So don't be a spender. Be an investor in all those things, in terms of money, in terms of time, in terms of your resources, in terms of your business or your work. Be an investor. Learn what you can do on a daily basis to invest a little bit more, and you'll be better. Trust me. I guarantee you. That's what works for me. That's what works for all the people that I know that have made significant change in their life or significant money. They do the little bit extra. They do the investing instead of the spending. Don't be a spender. Be an investor. All right? Guys, until next time, until next Thursday. I appreciate you guys. Look out for that seminar coming out, the real estate seminar. It's going to be coming sometime this year. I'll keep you guys notified. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you have questions, comments, put them in the put them in the description. If you have um, any ideas for future shows, please put them in the comments. Guys, until next time, I appreciate each every single one of you. I'll see you at the top.